keep her moving to the co-main event. Amanda Hebas coming in at minus 158 against Macy Barber coming in at plus 158. Over under two and a half rounds. Minus 225 for the over, plus 225 for the under. Amanda Hebas coming in here after a pretty big win in her last time out against Viviani Orosho. Um, And then before that, she lost to Kaylin Chikagan. And she was at 125 when she... Uh, or she, she was at 115, and then she moved up to 125 after her fight with Verna Janjiroba, which she got a win there. So her first fight in uh, in flyweight in this run, uh, she took a loss, but then she got back on track against Arujo. And then for Macy Barber, she's on a four-fight win streak, but two of those are pretty close to shit decisions that uh, may not have gone her way, uh, had like some other judges t- taking it another place, but her last time out against Andrea Lee, personally, I was in attendance there. And it's a little bit of a different view, but I thought Andrea Lee probably got the win. Um, And then you could go back to the Miranda Maverick fight in 2021. And a lot of people think Miranda Maverick won that one. So it could be a different story coming in here for Macy Barber. But nonetheless, she comes in as as an underdog. Will you lean in on this one? Yeah, so for Macy Barber, it's kind of the same for both fighters. But for Macy... Two split decisions in her last four, um, two decisions. She's yet to show me like that one win where it just says, okay, now Macy's legit. She's putting it all together. Um, she's a great fighter. Like I've yet to see that out of her. I thought she lost the Andrea Lee fight from at home. You said you were there. It looks suspect at home. I was almost shocked when they raised Macy Barber's hand. I never really went back and watched it fully to try to score it myself, but it just looked like Lee had gotten the better of her um, in at least two rounds. But, I mean, you're beating Jessica I, Montana De La Rosa, and Miranda Maverick by split decision. You're not going out there and just dominating girls or getting these big finishes. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, Amanda Hebos is going to be a tough customer. She does have some losses. But if you look at her losses, it's Caitlin Chukagian and uh, Madrina Rodriguez. So she's beaten Verna Jandaroba. So I, if she's beaten Jandaroba, I don't see Macy coming out here and grappling the hell out of Rebos by any means. Um, I just, I just think anywhere this fight goes, Hebaz might be a slightly more polished fighter, in my opinion. She's got good volume on the feet. Her striking defense is actually really good. You know, she's only getting hit with 2.65 significant strikes per minute, which is you know 69% striking defense. Um, averages over two takedowns, 88% takedown defense. Like she's just as solid as they come. And like I said, the losses are really good fighters. So I think she might just be a little bit too much to handle for Macy. Um, but Macy is, you know, getting a little bit better in the striking each time out. I just don't know if she's quite there yet. So my, my prediction is going to be Amanda Reed, he boss here. Yeah, I would probably tend to lean that way, but it just seems like Macy Barber's got ways to, to make it a close fight. Like, and she's got ways to get the judges to give her, give her the fight. So she's aggressive. That aggression looks good uh yeah at time yeah she moves forward she'll also like go to the cage control uh so even if she can't get he down like she can just hold her up against the cage because i do think she might have a little bit of a strength uh advantage coming into this one i think he is probably the better grappler as far as like submission skills go um and just overall threats on the ground but on the in the size category i think macy barber might be a little bit better because he you know flirted with 115 for a little bit so yeah, I, this is like I think this is as greasy as it gets. Like you know, going into a Macy Barber fight, that like it's probably going to go to decision, and uh, you might you might get screwed on the judges. So, do you want to be on Macy Barber's side or not? And I probably wouldn't be able to lay the chalk on Hebas like at this point. Um, but at the same time, I'm not like chopping at the bit to be on Macy Barber's side as an underdog because I do think she probably loses. But it's just not not a great. Not a great one that I would I wouldn't want to get too invested in it um, personally, but for the sake of the show, I'll take a man here, boss. You got to see if Chris Lee's uh, judging this one because if he is, he likes those. Uh, I mean, he likes those popular fighters. So Macy Barber might be the pick if yep. if you can get some kind of Chris Lee in there. You know, some of those judges who you know think differently than us, I guess. So yeah, check out the judging panel before you <laughs> you look at that one. Unfortunately, that's probably a, a common thing. That's gonna have to take place going forward 